that started to die off recently? I feel like it started to die off. I feel like those are bigger now than ever. Really? They're popping off all the fucking time, the documentaries. I don't know. I feel like it got saturated and then like you you don't hear about it as much anymore. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. Do you have Hulu? Uh no, not anymore. Yeah, because I feel like Hulu, it's like every every time I open it up, it's like oh, yeah. there's another like two or three. I mean, you definitely see it in like the in like the streaming services. But I think that's just more like cheap content. Yeah, for sure. Like yeah, you yeah. can, you know, it's sort of like uh, the equivalent of like reality TV. It's like it costs you nothing to get this like it's B roll and interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah basically, like, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And okay. some like graphics that they, you know, they pay some guy in India. And it's like you need content constantly being uploaded, yeah. otherwise people lose interest in your streaming service. So it's like I get that. Yeah. Even though, right. like, once again, they're starting to upload like random ass like Asian like. TV series. Honestly, that like, should be illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I like just give like a, sp a specific language like stream within the that, thing. That's my biggest. That, that's one of my biggest gripe is that I don't want to have to uh, like look at something. I read the thing and then and then it, and then I open it and then it's in you know whatever some different language. Like no, but I don't. I don't want to watch subtitles or I don't want to see dubbed. I don't. I don't want that. Like just let me. And Let I me live my life. Yeah. Sometimes it's fine, you know, depending on the movie. Yeah, you know, course. like I'll watch some movies, like it's actually better subtitled. Yeah. You God, know? Godzilla but minus one. That was a great movie. Jesus Christ, that was a great movie. Yeah, that was a great movie. I've definitely movie. used had subtitles on and figured out some things in movies that are normal, like English speaking movies that yeah. I had no idea what the fuck they sure. said in a yeah. scene. Like what was snatch? it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. Yeah, Christopher Nolan's movies, like the the the. Um, the dialogue is like really low sometimes, and he does it on purpose, so it like confuses people. Yeah, I've heard for something about yeah, that. Yeah, like, come on, dude. Like, well, like, there's just a lot of, like, mumbling and acting right now. Is there? Yeah, I mean, I will look at, like, old-timey shit. They're, like, you know, ah, see? Yeah, they're, like saying everything, like, super clear. <laughs> um, dude, there's, ah, you see? I yeah. mean, there's, there's even, like, a genre of, of movie called Mumblecore. What? Oh, yeah, I've heard of that, actually. But Mumblecore? A movie? Like, a genre, genre, like, a film genre. And, like, Mumblecore is, like, um... Like you see it a lot with like indie films, and it's made to sound like conversational. So like it's the Gilmore Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a single episode of that show. <laughs> there, that, yeah, never mind. So Mumble, <laughs> Mumble Core, anything, there's, like, there's a movie called like Drinking Buddies, which is like to, like peak Mumblecore. Like nothing happens. So give us an example of Mumblecore. I'm, How's I'm, the dialogue I'm Googling go? This I've never even heard. Is it just mumbling? No, it's like it's like very like conversational, but like yeah, like like sentences like trail off, like got it. It's okay. it's 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 meant to sound like the way people actually talk. Got it. Got so it, a lot of it. them don't have like scripts necessarily. Like they you know they go in. It's like a lot of improv of like okay, I'm gonna say this, you're gonna respond to this, and you just sort of like yeah, like this is the subject. This yeah, is what we're yeah. About. yeah, yeah. So like they should yeah. do mumble porn. Because people are talking way too much in porn these days. Oh, like yeah? trying to get the, yeah. Oh, daddy, uh, no, no, stop. That, that's so like one of the best things about amateur porn, like the more amateur porn, was that like all of like the, the yeah. fluff and the acting was gone. Like all of like the fake orgasms and the screaming and all of that. And now suddenly like they're trying to like bring it back. Are they? Like, not like everyone's trying to bring it back, but like definitely like the amateurs who are like now more successful, I feel like, are like starting to like lean into like the porn star shit. And it's like, Everyone was trying to get away from that. Now you're, you know, running with it again. Like, are you talking about small hands? Do you know who that is? <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> no. Yeah, you know, right? <laughs> That's what popped in my head. Our, our homie Aaron that used to, uh, what he used to, was he, he was a, bartender a bartender out here? Yeah, yeah him and his fucking Played girl. Played in bands too, yeah. Yeah, him and his girl <laughs> made this whole porn production company and they're just killing it. Like, it's it's more of, uh, so they're a couple, uh, they're like an alternative couple, like Why can't tattoos. I think of her name right now? Oh fuck! It's slipping my brain too. But um, yeah, small hands. Aaron, he. Uh, so they're going like full on production. Full quality. on production. Yeah. But I think they do it pretty good. But I mean, then again, even if it is that good, I'm not trying to watch a fucking storyline like the plot. What's going so on here? Somebody made this point recently, which makes sense uh, when it comes to like dick size, like porn star dick size. Like obviously they have huge dicks, but also he's like, dude, most of those porn stars are like five foot one. Yeah. <laughs> they are shorter dudes. Uh, Joanne so Angel. Yeah, there we go. That's yeah. why I always get uh, small, like tiny girlfriends, dude. Make your so dick then when feel I send huge. you guys my fucking sex videos, you're like, God damn, show is <laughs> hung like a fucking mule. It's also what I know was like the uh, the POV like porn is that uh, 
is that they use like the fisheye lens, which also also makes your dick look way bigger. Makes it look curved too. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Is this IMAX? Guys, take notes here. This is how you make your dick look huge. Right. <laughs> You buy the iPhone fucking fisheye attachment. What Are do you guys want to hit first, man? We got, I usually you don't do agendas here, but god damn, we got a lot here. We got, uh, oh, you didn't want to do, uh, porn tricks? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, can we talk about Shannon Sharp? Do you guys see this earlier? Yeah, go for it. You know Shannon Sharp? Obviously, old football yeah, player. Yeah. yeah, he's a commentator, yeah, old he, football yeah. player. He's the guy that just did, he did the interview with, um, that blew up with Cat Williams. With yeah, Cat Williams. yeah, yeah. Shay Shay. What's his podcast? What's his? That's the name of the podcast. Shay Shay. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's whatever. But uh, he went. And he has a shit ton of followers, and uh, his phone went on live while he's fucking a chick earlier. <laughs> it went out like everywhere. So well, God wait, bless how you does your phone go? I don't know. I don't know. So you, like, you set it up and, and press live, and yeah, then you fuck a chick. That's how your phone that's goes. That's how your live. phone goes. I mean, live. unless you set a timer to go live or something. No, like there's that. no timer. It wasn't. It wasn't. Pointed at him, like you couldn't see anything. Wait, it was like his IG, right? Yeah, it was on IG. So was could, okay, yeah, I, yeah, he might, he might have hit the it, app, and yeah, you it looked go, like yeah. he was laying on the bed, facing just like up. So but you, you could couldn't hear see it? anything. It wasn't moving either. It's not like the, the thing yeah. wasn't moving, but clearly cheeks were getting clapped. Like it was very, <laughs> very. Loud. God, wouldn't it be great if he was fucking a dude? <laughs> oh <laughs> God, that'd be <laughs> fucking why, extra drama. Why did you even go there? Because that'd be <laughs> because <laughs> it's like Shoney. Because you know why? You know why I go there? Because they could beat off. <laughs> he wanted a good visual. Uh, who's he fucking? Mm. Give me some of that mumble. Boy. You know, it'd be better if it was the dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just because it's like it's already so he's fucking a chick. So what? We all fuck chicks, but then it coming out that he's gay on top, bro. Dude, is he I, still be, fucking? He's Jack. Jack. Yeah, yeah. He's Jack, but he also has uh, plastic hips. Plastic <laughs> hips. Yeah, like he's got like hip replacements. Dude, those are those are fucking good now though. Like legitimately really really good. But I, 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 he has a he like clearly hasn't like been able to like recover to the point that he can like like work out his lower half. I don't know. I, I don't know I don't know which ones he has, but when even when I was in the military, a guy got both hips replaced and he's running fucking 5 weeks later. That's crazy. I mean, running. He, and he's, he was and he got to stay in the military. He was probably he, faster. He was saying too. so yeah. he interviewed the Rock and they were talking about like potentially going in and like doing like having him and Stephen A Smith like in uh WWE ring as like, you know, in a, during like an event or whatever. And uh, they were saying that he could wrestle, and he's like, no, he's like, my hips, man. He's like, I can't. <laughs> like, I mean, that is crazy. Um, I mean, dude, I mean, the guy played football for how many years? A tight end? Like, he's fucked up. And in the 90s. He's a single dude, yeah? I think yeah. So. Yeah, I don't think he's Yeah, there. I think that's what they were saying. He's dude, 55. He's, that, dude, that dude. That's it, ridiculous. He's yeah. proud, proud chubby chaser, too. Really? You think he's fucking a fat chick? For sure, it's yeah. way better than a fat dude. dude. <laughs> <laughs> it is better than a dude, yeah. He, he talks about oh. fucking big girls all the time. That's really? cool. Yeah, he, he's, he's... He's a funny motherfucker from yeah, what is, I've heard. I funny. love the meme, uh, the video when he's drinking the Mountain Dew and he's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. I mean, the best is when he was on TV and he was drinking Hennessy out of a solo cup and had a black and mild. And, and a do-rag. <laughs> yeah, and a do-rag. Yeah. <laughs> <It's just so laughs> he really funny. played ball back in the 90s? 90s and early 2000s. Yeah. Oh, yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. and not only that, his brother was yeah, his supposed brother, to be like one of the best receivers ever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he got hurt. Like uh, his brother got hurt like in year five or something like that. But his brother was like going to be a hall really? of famer, like best one ever. And like they they kind of compared him to like shitty compared to his brother. Yeah. And then he became like the hall of famer guy. And I uh, I just found out that uh, LeBron's kid is on the Lakers with yeah. him. He's yeah. kind of wild, right? Yeah, it's, it's stupid. <laughs> is it? Okay, thank you. Because I thought like I'm that, not a big sports fan, but it's a little yeah, like he sucks, Whoa. dude. So does I do he? yeah. So I do like some freelance work for uh, NBA broadcasts. Of course you do. And uh, <laughs> and like <laughs> you never even told us that. It's the first time we're hearing <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Um. So like I was doing some like shit and like during like for like their uh, draft prep and like so I had to like basically pull like like dozens of fucking players, a lot of them who aren't even going to get drafted and like build like profiles, like interesting information, like game logs, like interesting stats or whatever. The dude got is in the NBA right now and his stat line in college fucking sucked. Yes. Like horrible, horrible. The, yeah. Like getting, becoming a professional athlete, the way like a, a wealthy kid becomes like a, an employee of like a fortune 500 company because their dad's the CEO like that's what that is. That okay. never fucking happens. I like, thought it's it was crazy. a little, little fishy going on. And just, he's not even tall too. It would be one thing if he was like some freak, 
Like if he's yeah. six nine, how tall is like he? Six one or two, it's like or six something. two or yeah. something like that. Yeah, it'd be one thing if he's a freak in size, like at, and like you know whatever. He was just wasn't that good at basketball. They kind of make it work. Yeah, but it's like he's not good and he's undersized for the NBA. It just it yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I just saw a video of LeBron saying that um, his son can't call him dad like while yeah. they're like playing ball, <laughs> and I was like, wait, what the fuck? Like on the court, and then they brought up like uh, footage of his son playing. I was like, oh, he's on the Lakers, and you guys know me. I don't know much about anything, but I'm just like. Like, that seems a little fucking weird. Yeah. I on a maybe different team, like then it'd be a little more. Here, here's the thing: is like he may end up becoming a good player. Like Which he's only sick, like 19 actually. years old or something like he's that. Just there for the check. Well, no, like he wanted to. Like it makes sense. Like he wanted to be in the NBA and play on a team with his dad. And his dad wanted to play on an NBA team with his son because it's cool and it's historic, whatever. So he jumped in the league probably like two years before he should have. Has that ever uh, happened before? Or is this the first time? I think there was one. There was one. Well, I mean, Ken Griffey and Ken Griffey Jr. Gary Payton and his kid. But no, not in the league at the same time. Oh, really? Not even on the same team either. Like, obviously. Um, Yeah, I mean, that's. I I think there was one other one from the like early '90s, and that they they played on the not the same team, but they were in the league at the same Same time. Yeah, Yeah. Hmm. I can't remember who that was, but. It's. I mean, yeah. You gotta have. <laughs> you gotta have a kid when you're super young. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you have to be like LeBron and play until you're like fucking forty years Ancient, old or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Ancient. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's just keep pushing, and he's getting how much money per season? Like, yeah, it's a lot. He doesn't just need push any more. One more. Yeah. one more season. Let's For, go until something breaks. You know, until he yeah, fucking falls down. You don't down. want that. You don't want that. Whatever, you want to go out like not on your shield and just fucking leave. Like, true. Very true. You don't want. Yeah. Man. You don't want to go out like Fat Man Scoop. Come on. Oh, oh no, man. We were, hey, I healed, bro. I healed <laughs> over that. Why you gotta bring that up? Yeah. Last week, Don, he I, he got really mad at me. I was actually not laughing at that scenario. I was choking on water. It like went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> I forgot. And so that. it sounded like I was laughing, like, oh, he, he died. But it legitimately water went down the wrong pipe. But then pipe. again, Dom's always laughing, laughing at fucked up shit. I know, yeah. So and this fool gets mad when we laugh. Yeah, at well, once it gets into DJ, suddenly it gets serious. Yeah. <laughs> Have some respect <laughs> for the guy that yells over everyone's music. Um, did you see the, speaking of kids, did you see Dave, Dave Grohl? <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah, that's crazy. So, I mean, it's not crazy considering who he is, but to post that. Yeah, like to try to get ahead of anything that might get yeah, out. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta wonder like what was coming out, you know. So the uh, I, w- I want to read the keep talking. We don't know who the girl is, right? Post. Yeah, he didn't. Well, he no. didn't say. Who oh, she so gonna... how, do we want to take like a bet? And if her birth year starts with a two? Oh like, my god! <laughs> I well, like I see. It has to. Do you, mean, I mean, do you think it was a groupie or do you think it was like? I hung out with a chick many, many years ago who was like one of those chicks that he. Allegedly impregnated, and I mean I don't know. I wasn't hanging out with the two of them together, but based upon what she told me about hanging out with Dave, um, it made sense. And she was fucking tall and gorgeous, and fucking yeah, knew famous, a lot of musicians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying so, to find uh, what he actually said because it was I, very. It was, it was, yeah, it it was basically comments. like. Hey, I knocked up someone who wasn't my wife, and yeah. I'm gonna work on fixing this with my family. Yeah, but it, uh, I heard one quote that was like. I'm having a child that's out of out my of, out yeah, of out of wedlock. Out of but he, just, but he fucking worded it all weird and like when so I first saw it, I thought, I thought like his shit got hacked and somebody posted something like because it's weird to just like yeah. release way to a fuck statement. up your buddy's life. Yeah, yeah right. it's fucking Dave Grohl though, man. Like he's like. He's 55, and now he's having No, but kid. everyone loves him. Like, he's yeah. everyone. He's the fucking Everyone's great. still going to love him. Like, who, who in, in, Jack infidelity, Black? infidelity is like, like, you can get away with that one easy. I don't understand. Like, all the comments I saw are like, he's too old to be doing shit like that. And, uh, you know, like. How I, dare you? Yeah, Am my advanced age? Literally, <laughs> like, all the, there's so many comments just saying, you know, like, oh, what a scumbag. You don't do this at 20, let alone 50. And, and then one comment was like, he just likes to have sex with hot chicks. It ain't that deep. Yeah. It's, like, That's it's it. like, yeah, he's probably just like a, a vulnerable moment and like yeah. he fucked up. And yep. I mean, he, he Im- drinks pretty hard. Yeah. Like, that too. You know? I mean, just yeah. imagine at the end of any Foo Fighters show, literally how many gorgeous women are throwing themselves yeah. at Dave Grohl. Yeah, yeah. For also, sure. his I, whole life, his dude, whole he's life, been yeah. getting pussy yeah. thrown he's at been him. saying no. I mean, that's the conversation he's had with his wife. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, know how many times I said, dude, his wife knows. I know there's a lot of celebrities that are like that and they're like, 
traveling all the time, and the wife is like, "Listen, you make all the money. You fuck. I'm just gonna turn my yeah. head. You do what you want." So, so he's made it this long without getting someone knocked up, dude. So here, here's here's my thing: is how many of these that you hear of like the story of them getting caught cheating? Not even necessarily caught cheating, but well, like, he didn't say anything about cheating. Well, yeah, no. So that's what I was gonna say, but. Um, I feel like a lot of these people probably have like open, re- open marriages, yeah, yeah, for sure. but like, dude, it, it would be easier to come out as gay for Dave Grohl than it would be to come out and say, my wife and I have an open marriage. Why does it gotta be about another dude, Alex? I'm just <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, bro. That's the theme of today. Yeah. Yeah, right? I'm just saying it's more like socially acceptable to be gay than it is to have like an open marriage. Yeah. I can see that. Mm. And also I, I think. I would assume the wife's probably, I mean, even if she's okay with it, she's probably not, like, actually okay with yeah. it. You don't want to, like, embarrass her. Like, I yeah, think yeah. It, the way he worded it actually makes sense now. I feel like she's, they're probably cool with it. She knows what he's doing. Well, why would he has say to tell the public. Because, I don't know, like, people are going to find out. Yeah, I mean, the, the chick could have threatened him. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, yeah. Probably. Just saying dude, or it could be a dude. I mean, or it could just be a... Sorry. I mean, dude, can't get pregnant be, now. Or it could just be a story coming out, and he knows it. Or he's about to drop a new album, The Foo Fighters. No, what I was going to say is he wants he wants to do get ahead and do the whole I'm not a deadbeat dad True. you know absent father thing I'm actually going to be in the kids life True. you know kind of deal that's how you preserve yeah. your image of like being wholesome you know yeah like my wife wholesome. and I have an agreement <laughs> I bang other chicks but I fucked up didn't use a jimmy hat and now this chick's pregnant not but don't worry I'm going to be a dad yeah, yeah. That, that I feel like that doesn't that doesn't like slide off so well I feel, yeah <laughs> I feel like he could pull that off though cuz everyone loves Dave Grohl he's always every video I've ever seen of except him except for like, his wife <laughs> I, she's probably cool with it she's like dude yeah. you make m- this family millions you take care of us oops who cares bring the baby in we'll I don't a- disagree but I mean still True. like if yeah. you're not aware of it it still sucks like oh she could be aware of it yeah that's I'm what saying. I'm saying. Who knows? Um, you know, in his head, he's like, oh, she's got to be aware of this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you kinda be, you'd be pretty foolish to not think that's happening True. when he's on the fucking road. True. I mean, just, just, I hope they don't take down Jack Black. They almost did. They tried fuck to. Jack, who cares what about Jack Black? What the fuck, Jack Black? Fuck yeah, you, bro. Jack Black. I'm not saying for anything that his partner said. I'm just saying, well, why do you care about Jack Black? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit about Dave Grohl? I don't. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> well, I do. I'm just saying, like, okay, so Keanu Reeves... Just don't take Keanu Reeves from us, please. If fuck I hear Keanu something, Reeves. oh man, fuck you. <laughs> if I hear anything about Keanu Reeves, like I'm done. I'm gonna turn my dick in. I'm I'm done being a man. Like those are the fucking best dudes on the planet that everyone loves. And now Wait, you so, put Jack Black in the same realm as fuck Keanu. Fuck yeah, Reeves? Jack Black's like Is the funniest Keanu fucking Reeves? dude. That's a bold maneuver. Come on, bro. Yeah, that's, the, the, that's not the same. That's the same for uh, me. Yes, I, I that's feel the same like shit. Jack Black's probably one of the most liked celebrities. Keanu Reeves. Everyone loves Keanu. He's like the nicest dude on the planet. Jack, all he does is walk in a room. And, oh, 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 That's all he Black. does. Like, he's hilarious. He gave us so many good movies How and many so many good albums. You see? <laughs> it's not like that, bro. It's not even like that. It's not even like that. How many that. times is that What funny? about Keanu Reeves? Whoa. What made that was Whoa. the kick. Wow. <laughs> Ke- Keanu Reeves is the same thing. I was hoping my croc didn't fly off and hit a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Keanu Reeves is the same thing. That's why I'm putting them together. Keanu Reeves plays the same fucking character John Wick Neo come on Her name they're like lovable three uh, Ted, Theodore <laughs> Ted Theodore Logan who? Ted Theodore Logan Bill and Ted fuck really? oh that dude's not even famous what are you talking about? who the other guy? no, yeah. no that, just, that's the movie Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure I'm oh, saying, I thought you were saying a whole like no, a whole name no. <laughs> that's his name in the movie yeah oh yeah Oh, but, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought you talking about the other guy. The other guy in Bill and Ted, though, he's made a bunch of movies. He's like a director now. Yeah, no one gives a fuck movies. about that. He made, I mean, a, he made if you all of the two, Black I movies. think Keanu went a little bit further than he did. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. Just yeah, a little just bit. A smidge. I mean, he basically lucked into like huge franchises. That's true. And yeah. he's, made, he's made some trash, too. There's a couple movies that kind of moved for sure on a read. How many speed movies were there? Four? Or All right, three? hold on. He did one. Well, he only did one. Wait, wait, wait what are we doing? Yeah, what, what are we, are we doing? doing? What the <laughs> fuck? What, did How did what this the fuck happen? just happened? How did hey, this happen? Hey, Scoop, you notice we're getting better it's at, at you were swindling doing you kicks. into movies? Yeah. We're, we're slowly the, the sucking me out. The problem is, side. you guys never drive out. You drive into the ditch, and we never <laughs> get out. No one gets out to push. It's we're just talking about Blu ray formats, 4K, new TVs, We were talking about Jack Black. That yeah, fuck we, Jack Black. Yeah, okay, that's, fuck that's Jack Black. That he killed his wife. What? I'm sick of hearing about it. Oh, dude, if they... Oh, whatever, man. Jumanji was a <laughs> shit movie anyways. Um, Wait, so the, uh, the Alex sent this uh, before the... Oh yeah! Uh, before the show, was so, it some some Swedish Miss Sweden oh, or whatever Miss Switzerland. Swiss. Switzerland. Yeah, hey, her husband killed her. She wasn't. She's not the current one though, right? No. 
Former Miss Her husband her husband killed her and then tried to put her yeah, in a Miss, blender. Miss Switzerland. Oh, he tried? I thought he did. Well, well he put part of her in. You can't go couple all, fingers. You can't do one the whole body at the he same time. He doesn't have time. a good blender. You gotta get one of those like. Where do you start? Ones. That's a good question. Yeah. Like what what part are you putting oh in my first? God. Oh, so, okay, let's let's just say she's dead. Yeah. Who First of all, if you had a Vitamix, you would have gotten away with it. <laughs> but I mean, a blender's yeah, like yeah, small. You big. can't fit. Well, no, he was using a hand blender, too. Wait, what oh does that mean, a hand yeah. blender? Yeah, like the one that you... Yeah, like the stick blender. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't know that. I didn't know that wait, either. like the one that like doesn't have a container, like you put it in other shit? Yeah. Like, this guy's retarded, dude. <laughs> wait, so wait. <laughs> that you, doesn't make any sense. You got her in the the tub and you're just like hitting her with the Yeah, I mean, well, he was like trying to like dissolve the body. Maybe he was like trying to like soften it up and then like Ugh. blend it up and... Oh, he's probably like all geared out too. Like yeah. straight Dexter. He's got goggles oh, on. Sure, yeah. And, like, that doesn't make sense though. No. Like to just perpetually well, he did jab get a body with the- <laughs> Yeah. That's it. It would take. Yeah, too why long. aren't people talking about this? <laughs> it would take too long. Before the show, we were looking. I was looking up ways to, uh, how to kill people. I'm sure that'll come up at some yeah, point yeah. in my life. Um, but uh, it, the top one was actually uh, frozen ice, or what is it called? Not frozen ice. Dry yeah. ice. Dry, Dry ice. ice. And that then, makes uh, sense, actually. Yeah, you can put like if you put that in a container, or you use uh, liquid nitrogen. Yep. It'll freeze it and turn it into like dust over Ooh. a little bit of time. You can just. Go ahead and pour it out somewhere. Yeah, but then they check your receipts and like, why'd you buy three tons of fucking <laughs> yeah. dry ice? For, 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 for two you? months, you were buying dry <laughs> ice every day. Yeah. Yeah. What would yeah. your excuse be? What would you tell someone if the, if the cops are like, why are you buying dry ice? I like, like to party. Is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what is? What do you do? I don't know. They dry just rip your cigarette. The, dry, <laughs> dry ice is the stuff that like uh, oh, Halloween. Ca- yeah, like cauldrons on Halloween that oh, are bubbling. Oh, that's and dry ice. They still do that. You put dry ice in water, it smokes. Yes, it's you can get it from the same place where you get the ice luge. Over yeah, by Sports Arena, yeah. yeah. All right, okay, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> That's wild, though, man. Coming out of Switzerland, my people. Oh, <laughs> God, man, I'm having a rough week. So, wait, he did, I, I just want to know how he killed her, though. Did he shoot he her? He strangled her, apparently. Oh, he strangled her. Apparently, there was like a history of domestic violence, shocking. <laughs> I feel like it, uh, a lot of the strangulations of the wife, it's, I mean, I, the guy's obviously a piece of shit, but. It like it, <laughs> it's, it's, where are we like, going? It, it, just, it always escalates, so it's never. It's like a little strangle, and then it gets like crazier and crazier, and then they just go too far and end up killing the person. Like a uh, like a Lenny situation. Uh, what's that? Of mice man. Of mice man. Yeah. yeah, where he like panics and strangles her. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of kind of something like that. I'm not saying you know like wow. There's, there's, you're talking like right. someone who beats someone on a regular basis. Yeah. One day they just get it, take it too far. Go too far. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, I think they were taking it yeah. too far like earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, too far. As I'm in sorry. I'm just trying to help person. you guys. I think he's here. saying yeah. that that yeah. might not have been the intention behind whatever yeah. he was doing. Yeah, but either I mean, way, it's kind of hard to argue against that if you're that dude. Like, I didn't mean to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoopsie. Yeah. No, she's she's into it. It's just this time we took it too far. Yeah. I'm just saying if you if you walk up behind her and smash her in the head with a brick, that Jesus was your Christ. intention. Or you shoot somebody, that yeah. is your intention, one hundred percent. I like the strangle thing, kind of. Yeah. Like that's just like a super abusive person. And they just like over the next line. Yeah. I, guess. I thought yeah. the Swiss were kind, nice. I thought they, they got were great too. cheese and fucking Ricola and stuff. Watches. So expensive. What? So expensive. I thought they were. Yeah. Good, like I, I thought they were good out. engineers too. Apparently, <laughs> terrible stressed out. We don't yeah. even know if it was in Switzerland. It's we don't know if the guy's shit up. We're just making shit up. <laughs> what are you saying? Miss Switzerland left the country? <laughs> How dare she? <laughs> what do you guys think about uh, the new iPhone 16? You guys watched the uh, video? Yeah, I mean, it's got a new. No, yeah, it ain't got that much, right? I, I I'm I'm eventually I, uh, eventually they'll get up to the Android technology. Yeah, we know, we know. <laughs> I, I don't I don't I just don't care. I think I still have a twelve or thirteen yeah. or yeah. something. I might have a twelve. Yeah. And I was gonna upgrade and I was like, why why? Every Wait, time, you have a twelve? Well every time I go every time I've upgraded anything like that that comes out yearly, I am disappointed. I'm excited and then I get it and then yeah. I'm disappointed. And uh, I'm like, you're, you're, there's nothing better. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, but twelve, wow. The sixteen's coming out. You know that? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. you, I mean, you're, I, I understand you're if it's like you don't, like I don't you, have I, the AIDS fucking vaccine or something. <laughs> like, who cares? <laughs> I'm just saying that's that's uh, that's surprising that you're so far. I don't say far behind. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. trying to throw shade. Just like I could understand each year you look and because like, same here. I have the 15. I'm yeah. looking at the 16, going. Uh, th- some of the camera stuff's better. There's yeah. actually some stuff I could use for music on it, so I might do it. But if you're all the way back at 12, like what's stopping you? 
He what? doesn't care. Yeah, why? Yeah. Yeah. No... I, I don't know. I I just I'm surprised. I guarantee so, you there'll be something on the 16 that you'll be like, oh, this is way better. Sure, yeah, but I'm still gonna be disappointed after like two days. I'm like, why did I do that? Uh, I guess no it's point. a personal problem. Then sorry. Let, let, <laughs> let me know, let me know when they update this shit so they can finally send good photos to androids. I know what's up with that. They, they actually that just happened. That was a uh, oh, the, they, they, do they iOS find? something 17 point whatever. Because uh, that's not even uh, really an Apple thing. They switched it from the messages going on one service to another. And oh. Apple was blocking that. Yeah, yeah. So that you couldn't get it. But, like, it's been able to. All right. It. I'm going to try that after. I'm going to send Alex something. See, yeah, you I think you have to do some updates. Just don't let it be a dick. Oh, <laughs> just take a foot shit. photo right now. Yeah. Foot photo. Um, yeah. No, I, I honestly, I don't. I'm not disagreeing with you at all. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you see it every year. And it's like, well, what the fuck? There's nothing that crazy. I, I don't know. Sometimes... I watched the, uh, what do they call them, like the presentations or whatever, the which keynote. are super fucking weird. They're always weird. Those people <laughs> are fucking robots. Yeah. yeah. It's, they a, are it's sure. always weird. The presentation's always funky. Yeah. It feels, have you ever seen the show, do not do not go further down this rabbit hole. <laughs> have you ever seen the show Silicon Valley? Yeah. 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 So it's, they act like that, like literally from the show when they're yeah. speaking on the keynote, like this feels awkward. Something about this is not natural at all. They've definitely had training on where they need to put their hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they need to move their hands. It's kind of like the Zuckerberg thing. Yeah. Like, Zuckerberg, like, we know he's human, but he's kind of like, hey, guys, today I want to talk about, Yeah, you're going to be excited about this. And you're just like, what the fuck? Why it's don't they so just have weird. Morgan Freeman do it? Like, I don't oh, understand. God. Well, legitimately. You'd probably buy an iPhone 16 <laughs> if Morgan Freeman was selling well, it okay, to you. Not, well, who, it doesn't matter who it is, but just some... Actor so whatever, like, like they, well, they used to have like back in like the early days of Silicon Valley, and I mean, still like it to a certain extent. But they used to have like the like the face of the company who was like the CEO, but usually it was always like with a fa another founder who was like the tech guy. So that would be like the Zuckerberg, you yeah, know, yeah, person, yeah. and they would just trot out the the face of the company to like do the demos and the presentations and shit like that and they would market themselves as like tech geniuses and whatever blah 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 like really they're just you know a business guy who founded a company with a tech nerd who is like too boring to go up on stage yeah and then zuckerberg kind of like broke that For trend sure. and like he was the guy who was out there and everyone's like what the fuck remember we always used to make fun of him like zuckerberg and now he's kind of become kind of cool like i kind of want to hang out with him now yeah. is that just me no, yeah. he's definitely become right. Like, yeah, like likable. Like, do, doesn't he do jujitsu now? And he yeah. hangs out with fucking MMA guys. What was yeah. it, what's his name? Mikey Musechi. Oh, well, Musumechi. Musumechi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. it feel it does feel a lot of like PR work, but well, you, you saw the emails, no? What emails? emails? The emails uh -oh. between his team and Peter Thiel. Oh yeah, yeah. And they were talking about how they need to make him more likable in case he wants to run for president in twenty thirty. Yeah. Whoa. And so he needs to start changing to like for Gen Z and millennials to like him. Wait it's, for real? That's yeah, no, change right. his hair too. Is yeah, his hair longer and curly? There's all kinds of yeah. And so this Whoa. is like three or four years ago. These yeah. all these emails. Yeah, he stopped going to supercuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he straight didn't give, he didn't give a fuck back in the day, bro. He did not give a fuck. I understand. I, I actually fuck with the. You know how like oh, there's rich guys like that. They wear like you know the same same yeah, shit. Like Adam day. Sandler, yeah, like walking around like basketball I, I shorts. I like, even yeah. though like the t-shirt six hundred dollars, I get it. You know whatever, but. I kind of like that, like, you know, not buying a bunch of random Gucci shit. It's one less thing yeah. to worry about. Yeah, and it's just like, you know what you're going to do all day, but he goes, he went a little too far with that, and the haircuts were, what are we doing here? Yeah, he looked like Goofy. a robot. It's so weird, yeah. so weird. Who is it? Uh, Christian Bale, he's worth millions right now, the actor, and really? he has a- <laughs> Christian Bale? <laughs> no. Uh, a couple hundred thousand at least. You don't say. He drives a- 1998 Forerunner, like a 2001 I thought it was a Tacoma. Yeah, it might be a Tacoma. Yeah. But it was just funny. I just saw the, this article yeah, about him. Gen. How he yeah, first generation yeah. and he's just like chilling. You never see him it's with like expensive. Yeah. It is no, it is. Like I'm just saying like, thousand miles on it. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. That's that's interesting. What you know Well, there's uh the rookie ride wide receiver for the 49ers got shot up in San Francisco, up in like Union Square. And uh, somebody was I think it was some former NFL player was talking about what would you do if like so the guy tried to rob him uh, for his like Rolex watch. And Why he'd be wearing a Rolex in a city? So yeah, and anyway, so right, he, yeah. Uh, so he would like, so he tried to fight back to like you know not you know so watching get stolen whatever. Um, he's a rookie, not making too much money. Kind of you know he doesn't want to lose like his one big expensive purchase, 
And uh, and I forget who it was. Was like, yeah. He's like, what would you have done? He's like, I would have given it to him. He's like, I would never wear my real Rolex out, yeah, out sure. and about ever. He's like, that shit staying at home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's basically an investment, right? Unless you're really trying to ball out, and you can afford losing it. Well, you'd wear it to like a special event. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You'd wear it to like a wedding or like uh, you know, a fundraiser or something like that. A you gala. Know? A, ga- yeah. a gala. <laughs> and and rock that rep every day. That four hundred dollar rep. These motherfuckers are going to like shitty nightclubs rocking like a $70,000 watch. Like, what are you doing? See, I don't think I have anything I own that I would not want to give up. Like, if anybody comes up to me with a gun, they're like, yo, give me that fucking whatever. I'd be like, fuck, take good it, dude. Yo, know? give me all the feet pics. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? That's a good to know. <laughs> Mental note. No, seriously. Jordan's like, I've been robbed the last it. three times I left here. Yeah. <laughs> It's so crazy. I, well, none of my shit. Like, what's on me right now? I gotta, I, I, watch out. He might steal my iPhone 15 over here. You never know, dude. Hey, it's an upgrade for me. <laughs> exactly. Hey, at least that's good for you, man. You can upgrade to a 13 and you'd be happy. Those things are like fucking 100 bucks. <laughs> shit, funny. man. Uh, did you guys watch the debates last night? Nope. Oh, uh, we're going to talk about that? No, we're not talking oh. about that. Oh, really? No. Bro, the one guy that didn't watch it, it's not in politics, brings it, it up. I didn't watch, and it. You guys, I didn't okay. watch that okay. shit. No okay, cool. Fucking way. Dude, I fuck with you guys. Alex is over there holding his breath. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to get into this. Oh, yeah. cool. All right. <laughs> shit. Wow. I really thought you guys wanted to talk about it. No, no. We never talk about that. Like, not like all the way. There's no oh, point. Okay. Not all the way. Just the tip. Well, because I, I feel like it, always, it divides the audience whether they like it or you Okay, know. no, and good then, point. Good and point. And you get to hear that shit everywhere. Yes. It's yes. shoved down your throat every two seconds. Yes. You're at the fucking store or something. You overhear somebody talking about politics. Like, yeah. move on. I mean, not really, but I just, yeah. I don't know. It's like, dude, yeah. not, it, not everything needs to be political. Like, Oh, amen. And we don't need to be. Oh, smart. but in 2024, it does, sir. I know, which is annoying. <laughs> Shoney was feeling super smart, watched it last night. Oh, was, no, oh, he's <laughs> taking notes. Yeah. Like, I'm going to show these guys that I could get into politics. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't watch it. I just thought you guys want to talk. I'm trying to just keep everything on track. But, no, dude, no, cool. Yeah, no, yeah. I fucking next uh, next no, subject. I, for me, it's just too cringeworthy, the whole thing. I think it always is. But yeah, that's one thing I noticed about uh, like Deadpool. Even f- I watched the Deadpool movie. Great. Saw it four times. Cool. And I even got sick of all the shit after just like just media, just fucking recycling, yeah. regurgitating everything like, oh, Ryan Reynolds and then and then everything good. And then after a while, it's like well, Ryan Reynolds and his wife got into an argument. Like, what the fuck is not, going on? There's not enough like worthwhile information in the no, universe not at all. to like constantly be plugged into shit. Like, Dude, It's, it's a, just a, so much shit. Yeah. And people are like, and, and companies There's need people, to plug in like people, these holes of like, oh, what are we going to talk about? Make something up. You people, know, people spend fucking like all day watching like those 24 hour news channels could you imagine could you imagine spending all day watching dude I mean, it's that's so not bad 24 you? hour so bad. news channel that's just life now well but i'm saying like n- not enough even if you were to watch it like like watch it over a few hours you would realize that it's just the same thing over and over again like even like in the grand scheme of the world there's not enough like important shit going on for them to have to break news 24 hours a day i don't know if i agree with that i feel like there's a lot of shit going on in the world there's not. not. I mean, it depends. I think there is. It depends is. on what people yep. want to report on. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's a huge difference between, like, if you're, like, focusing on, like, in-depth, like, niche investigative journalism, which, like, doesn't sell. And you, and you can watch that somewhere else. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, better I'm pretty sure if we went by each country or, you know, and just looked and saw, like, what's going on in that country, I'm sure there's at sure, least a but that's dozen. Not, but that's not relevant to most people. Yeah, I think it just means, like, yeah. what yeah, okay. like we'd care about here. I'm saying that I'm sure there is stuff. Like, is it is it NPR? Is yeah, that an they, AM thing? The, the yeah, AM radio? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah mean, like, that shit. They go deep on shit, right? Yeah, yeah. nobody listens to it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, Damn. Like, yeah. they, I mean, their podcast does all right. Yeah, like I'm sure like people listen to it, but like what I mean is like a lot of that shit's like really like bo- like I'm a weirdo and I'll listen to shit that's like super in depth because like I get hyper fixated on shit. But like, like I would never expect for anyone else to get interested in a lot of that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so if you really were to do that, like nobody would tune in ever. Hmm. Interesting. And it's already I mean, fucking weird enough to tune in as much as people tune like in. Like we're saying, there's so many good outlets. I mean, dude. There's a podcast I, was, I always listen to is Darknet Diaries. And it's all about like just interesting internet shit that's going on. Yeah. And it's super dorky, but that's like, they go so in depth. Like, CNN's not going to be able to cover that. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to be able to like. You said that's a podcast? Yeah, Darknet Diaries is dope. Dude, that's so cool. I never, just this just popped yeah. in my head. Like, how, how different podcasts can be. Like, you just 
like yeah. us friends yeah. just show up and we bullshit and then there's actually people that are like all right next episode or next month's episode we're getting in and they actually have to learn shit and like bring it to the table kind, kind of like joe rogan but sometimes i feel like joe rogan is just kind of winging it sometimes yeah, which I is cool. yeah. <laughs> you don't think he does you don't think he does uh research on some I mean, if somebody's coming in he might read their book but i don't think he's like researching yet. really yeah i don't i mean I'd be, I'd be shocked if that guy reads more than headlines yeah. <laughs> wow alex i don't know about Shooting that shots but, at rogan definitely i, I don't it's not that's not like a research podcast. That's like a bullshitting podcast. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I remember when everyone was into Rogan back in the day. No, no. I'm no, not, everyone. Nobody <laughs> likes no, him not, anymore. I'm not even I listen to I Rogan. Know, yes, I I'm not saying. I'm not saying you don't listen. to him. I'm just saying back in the day, like, oh, Joe Rogan. You, you know, we talk about it like it's fucking the Bible, and now everyone's like, fuck Joe Rogan. He I think you have a false about. memory. <laughs> yeah, right. no, 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 no. I don't. I remember. I'm not saying you guys were walking around with Joe Rogan oh, t-shirts. Other people. Oh, oh I'm yeah, just yeah. saying in general, people, like yeah. when Joe Rogan started catching like well, fire, I, I, everybody was like, I think, fuck yeah. I remember. I remember uh, Scoop saying some shit about yeah, like facts, like Joe Rogan. I was like, damn, that's cool. And I had a couple other friends that were in him, and then. I think now people just it's got like tired nobody, of, oh, Joe Rogan's a joke, bro. I think people just got tired of his shit and he yeah. got like, you know, for sure. like for sure. Like I he just, he just got he just went too far like off the deep end of a lot with a lot of shit and true. that and that a lot of people lose interest. Yeah. Or or the or his fans stick around, they love it, you know. They're like, I mean, isn't it still just massively popular though? Yeah, yeah it is. So the, yeah. It's, yeah. it's huge. But you know, you lose a lot of the diehards. Sure. Yeah, I remember during the pandemic, dude. I I used to listen, listen to a lot of Joe Rogan and a lot of like uh, Theo Vaughn and the, all that the whole crew. And then, dude, was Theo Vaughn was on Road Rules? Yeah, I didn't fucking. Know I want to say early two thousands or like late nineties. So was uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy that does Two Bears One Cave. Burt Kreischer. Burt Kreischer. His wife. Oh yeah, his wife. Whatever. Yeah, she yeah. was on the same show as dude, Theo. Somebody played the clip of. Uh, Theo, like getting on, like his introduction. Because remember, they would have like the thing, like the they would get picked up, like on the road, you know, and they would like talk to them, and then they, you know, meet with the other people. His like very first thing that he said to like someone, uh, to an Asian girl that was on the thing was, <laughs> was literally like, like, oh, I don't know if I can deal with Asians. Or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like, he's definitely honed in his, uh, yeah, his comedy right. since yeah, then. Yeah, his podcast is fucking really big yeah. now. Yeah, it's huge. But I think, I mean, honestly, back to Rogan, I think what's appealing, at least for me, is that he has so many fucking random guests from literally all walks of life. And I, I've i literally, I'd never listened to one or watched one that wasn't even, at, like, mildly interesting. Yeah, like, I, I like watching the random ones. I don't watch yeah. the comedian ones anymore. Cause no, I, the comedian I, ones get old because uh, it's the same shit regurgitated yeah, over and over don't again. Care yeah. about, I don't, I honestly... I kind of hate comedy now, like straight up stand up <laughs> comedy. Really? I, I I have a hard time watching it. I have a hard time. A lot listening of it's crowd work now. It's not even fucking I just, bits. I don't find like I don't find almost any of it funny anymore. I was just like this is so boring. It's kind of crazy. So much like yeah. other fun content. It's Why saturated. I, it's really yeah, saturated. Same shit over and over. It's like oh funny. Like there's almost never a funny a premise that I'm like okay well we don't know where this is going. You know uh, what's that guy Delia Chris Delia? Chris Delia. I don't understand why he's funny. I don't understand. There's why a lot of like. Like I don't hate the guy. I, I think he's cool looking. Like seems like a cool dude. But I just like what the fuck. Like what's going on? I've never heard anything from him that likes made me laugh. I'm just like what's what's going on? Like yeah, so, yeah. I feel like yeah. they're, they're <laughs> kid, yeah, kid doesn't like, yeah, he doesn't what? like a cool well, kid. kid <laughs> a cool guy. Like, you know, yeah. Oh well, really? Some shit. Oh yeah, that shit. Allegedly happened. or fact? Uh, well, so this oh. is actually like a, I mean this is a while ago now, but. It was uh, not what he did was funny, but him realizing he got busted oh, was fucking yeah. hilarious. Uh, he's on another podcast, and they're the guys are talking about Snapchat, and so they're having like a conversation with yeah. Snapchat. He's like, "Yeah, but like you know, you can get those old like com combos back or something." He said the other guy said something like that. You can't. And he's you, like, "You can't screenshot stuff," and and everyone's like, "No, no, you can screenshot." Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, oh, and he, he stops freaked out. talking and just stares off. <laughs> And he's like thinking his wheels are turning like fuck. So you can actually watch this happen. Yeah, oh yep. yeah, yeah. Dude, oh, that's I, great. I'm, it's like that meme where uh, where it cuts to like the war, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it zooms in, helicopters and shit. I'm not even kidding. He zones out for a second, stares off. <laughs> in the distance. I think he got like accused of uh, grooming or something, or I don't think he actually well, did something. No, there, there was like oh, four really? girls that yeah. were between. They were 16 and 17. The issue was that uh, the reason why so he didn't like go to prison, basically. Was because the one of the girl that was sixteen, she, it was in New York, and that is sixteen, which I think is crazy. But 
That oh, is what? The, yeah, the age of sixteen. There, dude. They, I, when I drove cross country in twenty two thousand two, there were states where it was thirteen. <laughs> Which is crazy. What yeah. in the fuck? I don't know. What state can't, was that? Can't even drive what a car. Was that? <laughs> I, don't I don't remember. <laughs> there, there's like seven states right yeah, now. Yeah, there's yeah. sixteen. What yeah. the yeah. fuck? Yeah, yeah. Which is sixteen is. Crazy. crazy. Hey, am I about to have a Crystalia moment now? I like zone out real quick. Yeah. Like, Thirteen. Yeah. Like, like, was that New Mexico? <laughs> I've got to find out what state. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Wait, dude, could you imagine just being even like twenty three and dating a sixteen? Bro, that's wild. That's what I've never understood. I don't it's get crazy. it. I can't I even date either. a fucking twenty eight year old. Yeah. I'm well, old like, as fuck. It was like fairly. <laughs> Shut I don't, don't want to say I it was can't. like fairly Shut normal, up. but when you when we were in high school, there was always like at least like one girl who was dating some dude who was like you know 21, 22 or yeah, something like, a like college that. College guy. Yeah. Yeah. When, when there was a girl, a Russian girl who was we were in ninth grade, and her thirty year old boyfriend would come pick her up. What? And not only that, her parents were cool with it. So like the principal. Hey, but did you get booze? Uh, no, we, I mean, I didn't hang out with that fucking weirdo. <laughs> I mean, just, just, to, just to get alcohol. What does he want to hang out with my smelly ass for? I, just, I'm 14, Just bro. so he could buy you alcohol. <laughs> I'm wearing Axe? Yeah. <laughs> what does he want to hang out with me for? Skip's like, hey, you can touch me if you give me some fucking booze, <laughs> homie. <laughs> hey, look, can your boyfriend get us some beer or what? <laughs> well, so the, That's crazy. The well, principal went out and confronted him, like, don't fucking come around here. And then uh, he got, the principal got reprimanded by the parents because they came in. They were like, that we know. Like, there up. was yeah. in in the great state of Turlock. Um, the lock, baby. <laughs> there was a guy that owned a restaurant. Him and his family owned a restaurant. He was 30, and I was in, like, I want to say junior high or high school, and he was, like, hooking up with one of the chicks in my class. Oh, my God. Same crazy. thing happened, though. The parents, the parents of the girl were, like, mad about it. I don't know what they did, but, like, the guy talked to them, and they were like, all right, we're just going to wait till she graduates, and then you guys can be the... I, it was fucking weird, bro. That's I think he might have bribed them, the parents, with, like, money or something. Free crazy. booze at the, at the restaurant. <laughs> I tried. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, trying so to... Yeah, crazy. man. Dude, that's got to be, like, weird. a fucking mental thing. Like, because there's nothing... Yeah. I don't care how attractive a young girl like that would be. There's nothing in my entire persona, brain, that could fucking look at that and go, oh, yeah, I could. Yeah, no way. Yeah, I don't no. Even, yeah, no way. That's, uh, that seems so crazy to me. But I, and I feel like we're at, the like, the end of that being common. I feel like that... Yeah, throughout history, like that. Was oh like yeah, the most like we've yeah. evolved ever. past that. Well, there's finally. songs about yeah. it. There's like songs from like the 70s and 80s, or maybe yeah, like 70s, like some rock songs talking about hey, 17. Yeah, or yeah, something. yeah. Like, yeah there's yeah. a few of those. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. It's like, Ooh. well, Chuck Berry, the little freak, he fucking uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he like kidnapped a 13 year old, like basically kidnapped a 13 year old girl that he met at his one of his concerts. He took her on the road across state lines. Took her like to the, straight took up, that's kidnapped. Took her to the state. Yeah. This is thirteen and up. <laughs> yeah, oh. like, uh, that's wild. But then, man. and nothing happened though. See, like just like, oh, it's all good. It's Chuck Berry. It's fucking Chuck Berry, <laughs> dude. <laughs> fucking Chuck. What are you doing? It yeah. does seem to happen often though. Like it now, it seems like every other day you're hearing about some fucking. Yeah, weird... I will be. I will be honest with you guys. Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. I did go on a date. I did go on a date with someone that was twenty eight, and. I want to say 20 minutes into dinner, I was like, no. You had a saying. phone break? <laughs> <laughs> no, she had a phone break the whole time. Uh, I Wait, was like, so I, can't, I can't do it. I, I don't know like I, how people take this or like how you guys think I'm trying to say this, but like I can't. I'm being honest. Like, yeah, yeah, duh, of course. She was too Chicks smart in their for fucking, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give she it to you. She was too mature. <laughs> I feel bad. You got an iPhone 10. I'm going to feel bad. <laughs> She's too mature. She starts saying big words. Yeah. I'm like, Ugh. There too many syllables. I got too many syllables. She's like, wait, you didn't watch the debate? <laughs> <laughs> So honestly, Wait, 20, 20 and I'm not saying she's I'm not saying she's dumb. I just I have nothing in common. Um I just I don't know. I mean, be honest, Bradley, have you been on a date with someone in their 20s in the last couple months? No, 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 but I'm always the I always say I fucking love women who are my age or or like right around there. Yeah, I, I'd I've say like, like I say the sweet spot for me at least right now is like 33. I I I've met some chicks that are 32, 33 yeah. and it's like yeah, that's they like, watch the debate, they have iPhone 16. <laughs> I'm like, "Baby girl, what's up?" You know? I mean, uh, 28 girl. isn't like that yeah, off. Yeah, it's not crazy. Yeah, that's for me. Okay, maybe it's just me. Like, I mean, it just it also just depends on like the woman. You yeah. Know? Uh, that's what creepy guys say. <laughs> what, the, what, uh, what are we you, doing bro. here? That's, that's wait, a wait, full, wait. I, how did you not know? That's a fully developed adult adult in the decline stage. <laughs> how dare you? Just on the, the back nine. <laughs> yeah. the are back you kidding? Box. Two years and she's not even going to be able to walk properly. Come on. <laughs> what? 
How did you know night? before going into the date that this wasn't probably going to work? Like, did you not talk to her? Did you just? I knew a- her. I knew her uh, from the past. She, we worked together a couple times. And okay. Oh I, I, boy! And I How knew far back. Yeah. How far back? <laughs> not, <laughs> <laughs> not far back. You were twenty eight. She was. She was. She was a hostess. hostess. <laughs> she was a hostess. <laughs> <laughs> never. Hostesses are off limit. No, I will never date a hostess. Fuck, I'm sorry. I wanted to get that joke out so bad, and then you said it at the same time. Fuck. You guys are both on fire now. Give me that too. Um, when did I realize? Uh, before? Yeah, no, I'm saying, like, you didn't, like, talk to her enough to know going no, into this? No, didn't. Uh, just in passing, we both, uh, uh-huh. we were both taken. I had a girlfriend, she had a boyfriend, and it was just like, hey, what's up? I knew she was cute. Maybe maybe a little light flirting, but just being friendly. And then, you know, a couple years later, it was like, oh, shit. Uh, you know, we saw each other on a dating app, and I was like, damn, let's go out. She's like, cool, let's do it. 20 minutes in, I was like, oh, I can't do this. I'm, like, not, I'm into, not trying to. Like, sitting down eating food? Yes. Yeah. Just talking and just the the social interaction. I'm like, oh, this is. I'm what, not. So like, do you say I can't do this and you bounce? Or yeah, what no, happened? we had we had a good time. We had a couple drinks. He walked, uh, away, just, he walked away. Looked back. He's like, call me when you're 30. <laughs> <laughs> call so me you when you're checked, 38. You checked out. <laughs> Like I you didn't, didn't, check out. No, you didn't uh, actually okay. check out, but in your head, you're like, there's no way I want to continue this. Yes. Th- this is what it is. I figured this out. Is I think we're all in this room. We're really good with small talk when we're small. I know Scoop is. like When, when someone's in the room that's like maybe uncomfortable or something, I feel like we could be the guys like, hey, what's up? Like, we're good with like social situations and talking and making and keeping the conversation going. At least I think I'm good like that. So when I'm on a date with someone and I have to carry the conversation yeah. constantly yeah. and I constantly have to say, well, anyways, cool. Like, are you the only child? Like that bullshit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, it just gets old. It's like, fuck. So it's yeah. not that she's like, she's super young. I think that's part of it. And I'm not trying to say like, if you're it's in your 20s, you're dumb. feel like an age thing though. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think it is because I I, because because at least when I go on a date with someone that's closer to my age, like we have more things in common. We're old as fuck. I'm sorry, I've been I've been out with with women who are like 27, 28, who are perfectly fine in social settings. You're creepy as fuck, Alex. (laughs) How dare you? I'm just joking. I, I, was, I feel like sometimes people just get nervous. Yeah, there's like, that. Like, Some people just can't that. fucking talk. It's yeah, they yeah. suck. Or or sometimes it's just your communication style. Does oh, not shut sucks. the fuck up! Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> does not match. Hey, with it's fans. actually me. Yeah. I'm nervous. I'm like, <gasps> no. so here is something I notice on dating apps: is women who are constantly complaining about like communication or like guys not being able to hold a conversation, mm-hmm. almost universally cannot hold a conversation. Like there's something if you're one of these if you're one of these people who's constantly having bad interactions like negative interactions or like bad conversations chances are it's you it's you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not everybody so, else yeah. what are you trying to say Alex I'm just saying you know you look in, look inward look inward <laughs> look at the mirror but, but that is hundred percent true though if, yeah like, on if it's every time so I mean, if it doesn't I, sound like it's every time right? no yeah no, but, yeah but I'm saying. When it's closer to my age, we have a better time. And then when I start going lower in like 30 and 28, it's always just kind of, ah. Well, that probably hasn't different. seen the movie. Yeah. She's she's fucking just like, so how do you feel about The Matrix or Mrs. She Doubtfire? Didn't she's see like, what? one. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't know who directed Fight Club. Get like, the fuck out of like here. Maybe you need to look at movies that are a little yeah. bit younger and then watch those so that when you go on a date with a 28 year old, you can ask her yeah. about the movie she knows. Start watching more TikTok, man. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh God, this is good. <laughs> this is good shit. I'm, I'm working through some shit here. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Appreciate good, that. good. Yeah. We're here to help. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Bradley. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm enjoying your journey through the dating apps. This is. I haven't actually been on them a lot lately. My so I paid for like the three month subscription, and it's for the it's Hinge for for Hinge, Bumble, and uh, Field. Wait, Bumble had a life like a lifelong subscription. Do they not have that anymore? Fuck no, I'm not gonna do that because I know right when I get my luck, they'll go out of business. I didn't. I thought there was only one subscription for Bumble, and it was like one option, no, and that was it. Well, it's it, they're all the same, co- owned by the same company, aren't they? Really? Yeah. Smart. I think Bumble's on the uh, is talking Bumble, about Bumble and Bumble and Tinder See? are the same company. Yeah, because I re- I've read a lot of shit recently talking about how fucking no one wants to even use it anymore. It totally it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. I saw articles. About uh, how Gen Z doesn't drink anymore and how they're like so much better than every other generation. Ugh. I was like, okay, yeah, they don't drink as much as other generations. But they're, they're lonely. They're pilled the fuck out. They're pilled yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. out and they're sitting at home. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like there's there's a fucking like male loneliness crisis. Crisis, bro. Crisis. Like, you know why we weren't lonely? We were drinking <laughs> yeah, all the fucking time. I was all the time. Speaking all the time. Speaking Thir- of that. 
I fucking saw on, uh, it was actually on Rogan today. He was doing, he quoted a statistic like 50% of single men between, I don't know, 18 and like 30 are not having sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 50%. Yeah. That's crazy. What? Yeah, and then like the top It might have been a third. It's a huge number. Okay, so what are we talking? Yeah. We're talking about from like 17 to like 31? That's before, that's after us, right? The Gen Z. Yeah, yeah, that's Gen, yeah. yeah. I think it's younger, a little bit younger. It's a little like bit younger. Years. Five or something. So that's what's wrong with the chicks I'm going out with in their 20s. They just don't want to fuck. <laughs> no, it's the opposite. <laughs> they're not drinking. It's, it's, the it's the opposite. No, they're yeah, fucking. Exactly. They're fucking. Oh, they're oh, it's guys? Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's the fuck. top guys are fucking way more, and then like the the middle and yeah. bottom are fucking not at all. Yeah, I don't know about anything about the middle, <laughs> homie. And, what's up? <laughs> and also, and also they're uh, I think they're dating older guys. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. I, I, this not, is a not win for me. Fucking <laughs> 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 like, that ain't the case with my situations. Well, Bradley, you have to leave your house, my dude. No, that's why I have apps. When, so when, I have to leave my house. when I'm saying though. older, I mean probably like not as old as us. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. We are the older dudes. Stop. No, we are like out of that range older. We are like in like creepy old guy age. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Dude, he's talking crazy. You guys hey, hey, crazy. Hey. He talks about being too old. You just said the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> ever. Ever. That's a bold <laughs> statement. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not saying like we're old, but I'm just saying like, hey man, like I'm still fucking. I'm just saying like, damn dude. But yeah, no, like the the not drinking thing is is really fucking weird because that's such a social like yeah. lubricant. Yeah, that like I know pe so many like people are posting. Oh, they're so healthy now. I'm like, no, <laughs> like yeah. there's so much more to life than like literally like physical health. Like like we were talking about last time. Like the the the, the wait what? I'm just, I'm just maxing twenty four seven. Like right, yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if you're just yeah. all about like like physical like fitness and health and eating right and working out and never actually like living your life you're not doing it right okay you're talking about like bodybuilders and shit right no 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 no, no. like no no like some yeah, I, know, I know exactly what you're saying yeah and, like there's more like that's why people die of like sorrow and shit like, yeah like heart, loneliness like, yeah like yeah, loneliness, depression like, like whatever yeah way more than just like oh I'm in good shit like it's way yeah better. so like basically like people wanted to like stigmatize like drinking because it's obviously unhealthy people get you know get drunk they drive kill people whatever like there are a lot of negative externalities to alcohol but like the negative there are also negative externalities to not alcohol to no alcohol <laughs> like if you're not being social, the social side of yeah it. the social side of it yeah if you're not like being social there are really bad downsides to that as well yeah yeah you have a couple drinks talk to a chick yeah, exactly. get a like, number walk, be social jump in your drinks, car and kill walk just, to a think, girl, like, just think back to how much ass you wouldn't have gotten if you were drinking like between zero. the ages of like ten and fucking thirty, when I wouldn't even have learned how to talk to a girl. Yeah, <laughs> zero ass, zero. I mean, I also zero when I got fucking number. touched by my math teacher, but whatever. <laughs> you got Jesus. you nice and drunk in the lock. <laughs> ah, don't touch me! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, can you give me alcohol? <laughs> I mean, did you guys ever shoulder tap back in the day? Shoulder what? I'm um, sorry. I don't what? know what this gang shit is. <laughs> <laughs> I've literally about? never heard. What did you even just say? I mean, shoulder figure, tap. figure it out. No. Can you get it? Can no, you, think, well, you, know, you, know, you know what, know what shoulder is, tapping right? is? Just explain it. Let's hear it. I mean, Come on. I think I, you guys can figure it out. If I thought for a while, but that doesn't make for good podcast. Shoulder tap. Like, literally. You, <laughs> you shoulder, like, shoulder, like, tap someone on the shoulder. Hey, mister, can you buy us some beer from there? Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Uh-uh. Okay. Yeah, hey, I never, we never did that. I just stole yeah. booze from my we, parents' liquor cabinet. <laughs> yeah, the vodka bottle that ended up being all water by the end of yep, the. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we got a, like a few times we got like random people to buy us booze at Seven Eleven. Like I think about that now, it's fucking crazy. You guys didn't have like a a single place where you knew they served minors. Um, yeah, I mean, that. this is when we were like, this is when we were like young, like probably like sixteen, like so 12. We, yeah, no, we were probably like 16, 15 ish. So like you're at that age where they're still not willing to like look pretend like you're old enough, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but then we went to a place in San Francisco called Locks, Keys, and IDs and got, a, like, novelty IDs. They were so bad. On the back, it literally said novelty ID. <laughs> What's a novelty? <laughs> just like it's not real? Yeah, like, it yeah. just, yeah, it's like, a, it's like a tourist thing. You go buy, like, an ID yeah, for, like... like Fisherman's yeah, Wharf. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, this was in the ten this was in the tender line. This is on this is on like Market Street. Alcatraz. And uh so you it had it had an ID for every single state, but they all they were all the exact same design. Yeah. And so they weren't even like remotely close to a fake ID. So we just got one from like a different state. And uh we went to this like shitty liquor store that was in the middle of this office park that like nobody went to after like closing after like, you know, five, six o'clock. So I think this guy was just like desperate for business. 
And like he literally would just see, look look at the ID and be like, okay, and like, <laughs> like he didn't want to like look into it too much, you of know? Course. No, 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 no. Good for him for making money. You know, yeah. we had the 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 whole the city spot was like three blocks from where I grew up, like where my house was. Like the spot to get booze. <laughs> like everyone, like everyone knew it was on Divis. I forget the cross street now, but it was literally three blocks. I can't remember the name of the cross street. Uh, no, fell. That's what it is. But. Um, yeah, everyone from like every high school would go to that liquor store. Like you'd pull, I'd be hey, going by to be there, the place. and it'd be like a Wednesday <laughs> at like night or something, and I'd see all these people. I like, I know that person that goes to that high school. Guy I know made person. fucking bank. Yeah, there's just like thirty racks. Like that's you just go in there. Like I don't even think he sold anything but that. Like you had to buy a thirty rack if you're underage, and you just didn't really have an option. Yeah. It's for like whatever. He wanted to get rid of. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, he's that's like, true. oh, the shitty that. piss beer nobody yeah, yeah. wanted M- to buy. M- MD twenty twenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mad dog. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't. Even, I don't even think you could ask. You couldn't even like go pick your own thing. It was like you're buying this. Oh wow! Like, I mean, that's yeah, fair. he was for sure yeah. trying to. You want booze? Shit. This is so what he, you get. He, he, he just yeah. wanted people in and out. Like, he, yeah, yeah, he, like he didn't want you in the fucking store. Yeah, yeah. How they didn't Damn. get busted? I mean, maybe they did. I, I don't know. Yeah, you it eventually you get busted. Maybe for there's sure. the only one way to find out. Let's know. go back there. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm um, not there, there was a place by state which was like the liquor store. Uh, you guys ever been to Keg and Bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Keg and Bottle is like it's like the library of liquor. Like they literally have the ladder that like swings around and it goes yeah. up. Like it's crazy. The this like the most insane liquor store you ever go to. And um, they were like s- super strict on IDs. They were like the one of the few places like you couldn't, you wouldn't even risk going with a fake ID. And uh, so when I was like nineteen, like twenty ish, I had a bunch of friends who were like twenty two, twenty three, and uh, I would just regularly go in there with them to buy booze. But I never bought it. I was just with them, and we got so familiar with the people who ran the place. That it got to the point where I would just go in and buy, and they would never check my fucking ID. I was like nineteen, like twenty years old. Well, once That's you're awful. good on the first time, then they recognize you, right? And you're like, "Hey, it's me, Alex." Well, they know at least you're not like working for the city. Or you're not a right? yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like later. I mean, you know. But yeah, they were just familiar with me, and and I, my assumption was is like they probably just assumed they had seen my ID before. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, I would just go in there and fucking you know whatever. Did you dress different or anything? No, no, I would just oh, go wow. in dress normal. Wear a, put a big ass suit. And there on, was fit you. and there was uh there was a Mexican restaurant around the corner that did uh, un- uh bottomless mimosas, and we would go in there. They never fucking carded us. That's Jesus. dangerous at nineteen. <laughs> yeah. That's Fuck. dangerous right now. Yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> That's a good Sunday right there. But it, but it was cool as fuck, dude. I didn't have a fake ID. I didn't have like anything. I would go in there. They had a full bar. And, like, it was a nice restaurant, too. We'd go in and, like, have drinks, get drunk. Like, I was, like, you know what I mean? Like, I actually yeah. felt like I was, like, 21, which was cool. Yeah. Good old like days. Adult. My, I haven't uh, been out on a Sunday like that. And I shut up. I feel like I get drunk texts from you every once in a while. On a out. Sunday? Yeah, on a Sunday. Never. No? No. I don't drink on a Sunday. I got shit to do. Is that wild? Drinking on a Sunday? It's a holy well, now day. it is. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm praising the Lord. Yeah. Amen, brother. Only during football season. Yeah. Hey man, I uh, my parents were out of town. Like when I, I think it was like probably like sophomore year, and I had my cousin go pick up some um, tequila, but she brought margarita mix instead, oh. and it was non-alcoholic margarita mix. Like it was legit. Yeah, like, it's the mar- mix. Not yeah, it's the, the mix, yeah. and you got to put tequila yes. in it, right? So we didn't know that. We don't know anything about fucking alcohol. We're sophomores, so we're just like she brings it. I'm, I just see how big it is, and I'm like. Oh, like it's margarita. Like you just pour it in over ice. <laughs> She's like, yeah. And then uh, we drink a couple. My buddy's like, he's probably an alcoholic now, but he's like, this doesn't taste like alcohol. I was like, I don't know. So we're like reading the bottle and shit. And it's like non-alcoholic. I'm like, well, fuck, dude. We're having like a party. My parents are gone. All we have, like, there's like a couple people. All we have is non-alcoholic margarita mix, dude. So we're like, well, fuck it. We're not going to have anything. And then our buddy walks in. He just, like gets to the party late. And we're like, hey, he's not going to know this is non-alcoholic. So let's just pour him up drinks. And we'll act like we're drunk and see if he, like, you know, starts acting Get like he's dirty. drunk. Set him up. I know it's fucked up. He's kind of an asshole anyways. Because, you know, some, you always have kids. Like, I, I'm pretty sure the first time I smoked weed, like, I acted high. I was like, whoa, dude, I'm high as fuck. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I was a cunt. So... <laughs> So my buddy comes in and we're pouring him like up these margarita. It tastes great. So he's just slurping them down. And then, dude, you fucking knew it. He starts acting drunk. He's like, damn, bro. He starts like, because I think he actually did this before. So we're like, let's fucking call him out on it. 
Dude, two hours into the party, we're done with the margarita mix, and we all know we're not drunk, and he's on the ground face down, like, fucking acting like he's I'm fucked like, up. Drinking that much margarita mix, I feel like everyone yeah, loses. Yeah, I'd puke anyway, <laughs> fuck. I mean, he didn't puke, but he was definitely <laughs> acting like he was drunk. We called him out, we're like, you motherfucker. He's like, no, man, I swear to God. Poor guy. Yeah, right. Nah, he's a he's douchebag. We all hated him. That yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all hated him. That guy killed himself. <laughs> Good. You hear about Chad? Yeah. Dude, that was his fucking name. No, Just kidding. I was going to say, <laughs> no way. No. <laughs> Um, yeah, we did little little stuff like that, you know. I don't, I don't like that stuff. No, you don't like that stuff. No, that's rude. This yeah. man hates pranks. Yeah, I, don't, I, do. I don't like pranks. I don't <laughs> like comedy. I don't like pranks. I don't, I don't like don't to like laugh. Fun. I don't like to have fun. <laughs> he doesn't right? like leaving the everything. house. He doesn't want to talk about <laughs> movies. <laughs> fuck Definitely joy. Fuck what are you joy. doing? Like, what do you do, bro? Jiu-jitsu? Podcasts all day, every day. Oh, he's just God, so annoying. He's just maxing, maxing on information all day. Maxing. You need to become single and go on dates. You'll probably know everything. The chick will just be like, oh my God, keep talking. No, I'd be so annoying on a date right yeah. now. You think so? Yeah, yeah. I'm annoying anyway. So it's like, no, I don't think you're that annoying, but maybe on no, a date. On a date, I'm annoying. You think, I'd you think I you're would... annoying? Oh, yeah. I'm super annoying. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. You're the most. You're the least annoying guy I know, dude. That's sick, but I'm super annoying. <laughs> yeah, why do you wait? Why do you think you're so annoying? Nah, I'm just annoying. I'm annoying. I'm an annoying person if you're around me a lot. He's very self critical. I've I never, ever, you would not even be on my list of people I would consider. Yeah, but to be we're annoying. not dating. I've no, never but been I'm saying, like, <laughs> I, has, has the old bird oh, been running you down? So you're, <laughs> say, you're saying you're annoying, like, to your. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm always cracking jokes. Oh, yeah, it yeah. gets yeah. old. I can yeah, see that. but we gotta I, see who I, I you're fucking see, dating. I can see you though. poking the bear too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I can always. see that. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Okay, I was gonna say I've never walked into like one of our jujitsu or like MMA party things at our friend's house, and like Alex walks in or Scoop, and we're like, oh fuck, here comes that annoying he comes motherfucker. Out of oh, never. Yeah, Everyone's like, like Scoop's here. No, oh, like shit. If, if I'm if if I'm dating, yeah, I'm super. Got it, got it. So in the dating scene, you're annoying. I just keep cracking jokes and making fun of them all day, every day. Yeah, you it's bust like, balls. Like, who else am I going to make fun of? You're the only one here? Yeah. Fucking, okay, sure. of course. You're hey, fat. I, I want to hang out. <laughs> you're fat. Whoa. <laughs> I want to hang out with you, bro. Come over and make fun of me, dude. All right. Fair enough. I got an 85-inch screen. Shoney's so desperate. <laughs> I told you. I want you to hang out with He's you like, guys. Bro, I got a TV. You can make fun of me. Like, <laughs> hey, when, <laughs> hey, when we leave the podcast studio, I'm like the guy behind, like, guys, wait up. <laughs> wait up for me, guys. See, Stop. this is what this is what happens when you when you move out into, into the border. <laughs> To the border. Uh, I'm just scared that I'm going to fucking die because of loneliness now we're talking Dude, about. Dude, you should be worried about dying yeah. from the fucking fumes that are making it over the border from IB. What? what you didn't see that? You, you oh, should, you should, did you, you just start, see that? I recommend you start drinking heavily. <laughs> Wait, what did you see? No, Will I you hang out this. with me if I they, do? They've Maybe. been doing testing on that fucking, the sewage that's been consistently oh, yeah, being bad. dumped off IB and they're finding shit in the air that's literally like a, a, a toxic agent. I what? Why do we... Allow this. I don't know. Okay, you're talking about Imperial Beach, right? Yeah. But it's coming from Tijuana. Tijuana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a sign. Why do we allow? I don't understand. I was wondering the same thing. There's a big thing. I don't know if Alex knows about this, but there's a big thing about the sewage from Tijuana. It's coming in the ocean. And by my house, the the beach by my house has a sign that says, like, going in your own risk. There's a bunch of shit in the water. There's this whole thing with California or the county of San Diego. They want to use our uh, tax money to put in some to help Tijuana, Mexico with their sewage system so it'll clean up our water because yeah, right. shit yeah, comes yeah. but yeah. it's a whole political thing now no some people want to do it some don't i mean fuck i want to do it i want to be able to jump in the water by my I house i feel yeah. like the problem would be it just sending money there for a project like there's so much corruption i mean no, there's we would have all to, governments ever but yeah. like yeah you can you can negotiate the terms of how how the money gets I feel like we'd have to go yeah. over there and help them yeah, not send just, the fucking army Whoa! Send the God, send the CBs down there. We'll do something for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we'll hook you uh, up. It was hydrogen oh. sulfide and Jesus hydrogen cyanide. Christ. I was actually, oh, uh, I actually went to TJ last weekend. Oh, Alex. I wait for just like just for the day for a horse. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I feel uh, you. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I met up uh, with somebody for lunch over yeah. in uh, TJ, but um. It's actually like it's our first Tinder, time. Tinder date. Yeah. It was yeah. Wow, wow, you're ballsy. Um, I mean, she's come over a few times okay. across the border, but anyways, um, like this is my first time actually like out in TJ since I was probably like twenty ish. Like it's way nicer than it used to be. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like it was a dump. I mean, still like not great, but like there's definitely like a middle class in TJ now, and like. That whole area is like catering to the middle class of TJ. It's not like 
catering to drunk college kids anymore. And there's, yeah. there's nice restaurants. Yeah, there's like, like nice yeah, restaurants yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. A bunch of like the like the chefs in like Mexico City are opening up restaurants in in TJ. Um, no, I was actually like kind of shocked. And then also there was somebody got shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, while you were there? I love how we're laughing. We're like, yeah. oh, oh, no, Mexico. <laughs> like we were walking, uh, we were walking uh, by uh, uh, Revolucion, and uh, some dude just got popped in the forehead. No, like, like so they had like taped off. They had like taped off uh, an entire block, and uh, and we were like walking around. Oh, I wonder what the fuck happened. And then uh, I got back uh, to PB, and she sent me a message, and she's like, Oh, I already found out what happened. And it was like some woman shot some dude, like. Yep. I mean, like right in front of a store. That should have there, right by yeah, the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but the cops got the shootout. They killed Bar the West. Guy. Bar West. Yeah, the, the oh wow, I forgot about that. Police car was completely on fire. Yeah, wow. it was actually right next to where Victory is now, the gym. And I went to the gym, and I heard a bunch of sirens the night before, like late in the night, yeah. but I didn't think about it. And then I pull up to the gym, and it's all taped off, like that whole like Balboa Street. And there's a cop car that's completely torched. And there's those little, uh, those little like yellow, you know, number things. They're yeah. Everywhere. Oh, for the show. Oh, yeah. The they got a huge shootout right yeah. there. So they're everywhere. And uh, then I looked it up. I was like, "What happened on?" You know, it in, yeah. And for the, for the next week, but, scoop was wait. Why was up, the like, cop Malcolm car? On, oh, yeah. <laughs> why was the cop car on fire though? Uh, I think they uh, before the shootout they crashed into each other. Oh. Damn. And then they got in a shootout. The cop died actually. And, oh, uh, I one heard. Cop burned. I heard about yeah. that. Yeah, and they, then they got to shoot. I didn't know that was then, over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like right, yeah, if you're at Victory at the new location, it's like literally right next to it. Crazy. Uh, but yeah, so that, can, that shit can happen. Anywhere. It does, yeah. but I know that it happens more in TJ. And I, I've matched well, yeah, with a couple it, chicks it from, more in TJ, yeah. from Mexico. And I'm like, ah, they're like, no, come over. It's like really, but they said exactly like you said, like, no, it's way nicer. And like things are like it's the middle class, really nice restaurants. But yeah, just don't get all like blacked out drunk at night. And it's like, well, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not do that here either. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not looking like I'm smart enough to like. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not cool with like walking into a war. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's not always <laughs> the shit that. It's always the shit that happens. Like, yeah, some dude gets popped three fucking blocks over. Like, but one like, day that you're gonna that, be that dude. No, that was their drama. You know what I mean? Like, who? The, the, between the two of them. Bro, yeah, I'm talking about stray bullets, though. You know how many fucking <laughs> casualties? Like, I just feel like that's unlikely for you to hit from a stray. Yeah. <laughs> I I mean, I'm just saying, dude, shit I'm happens. Not saying, I'm not saying it can't happen. No, shit yeah. happens. Yeah, no, for sure. But and I don't want that shit to happen to me. You know? Shit can happen here. That's all I'm saying. I yeah, mean, there's there's good. a ton of Americans living in TJ now. A lot. That's Don has a, a couple huge friends. middle class. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, there was whole apartment buildings that they put up that I've heard that's like mostly Americans. And they're just up. dropping like flies as soon as they get out of their apartment. <laughs> 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 I, I don't well, know also, like, this, is like, did the bullet also, hit you? No. Well, also, Tijuana is like a huge like manufacturing center now. Yeah. So, like, even like the like local like TJ residents. Who actually like grew up grew up there have like middle class jobs now. Okay, so if you keep talking to this chick, uh, who's gonna move where? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> what if it gets serious? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah that's actually that's, that's a great question. question. What if it keep, who are you? Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Why is it gonna get serious? I don't know. I but mean, you, say, you you went to a different country for this woman. It's true. Let's say it's hypothetically. Let's say yeah. it's super serious. She's pregnant now. You months. risked your life. <laughs> She's got <laughs> she's got twins on the way. Yeah, yeah. She's she used to date Dave Grohl. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, we were gonna blackmail Dave Grohl until he came out, yeah, <laughs> and dropped the info. Um, no, I just wouldn't. I'm just not gonna get okay. in a serious relationship. Cool, man. Okay, Sorry. But, I didn't. Well, Wait, are you saying are you saying ever again? Oh, hi hypothetically, um, what if this is the one? I mean, she's got a visa. She could come here. Oh, you're gonna make her move to PB. I mean, if you had to choose between yeah. there and fucking San Diego. Yeah. No, man. I mean, I've heard the TJ's clean now, bro. Yeah. My, my buddy's still lit. He moved down there. He bought a house here, and then he moved down there, and he rents out his house here. Yeah. And he makes enough on the house here. Yeah. To pay for, to yeah. pay for a super nice apartment there. And he's, like, he's like, Wait, so are you that? never, are you saying, like, emphatically you'd never be in another relationship? No, I'm not, I'm not like... I mean, obviously, you're not, that's not your goal, but... Yeah, I mean, I, there's always the possibility, but, like, I'm not, like... Like, come on. Like, it's sometimes you just know, like, you're it's not, far removed yeah, from your yeah, psyche. It's, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Like, sure, like, maybe down the road my my mind will change or whatever. You don't have much road left, homie. <laughs> <laughs> We're old, bro. 
I'm going. Stop saying that. Fuck you. I'll say what I want, dog. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was that a threat? <laughs> yeah. It freaks me out. Though. Why does it freak you out? Hey, hey bro. I feel like it's 60 or something. Like, I, it's, it's a joke, it's but it's also, like, it, you know what it is? It's, it's a joke. We're not that old. There's always going to be people like older than us looking down and be like, hey, you still have work. But also it is, dude. We're fucking like, you know, 40, man. Let's do do your shit. Knock no, her I, up. Bring her to PB. <laughs> okay. <Jesus> Christ. <laughs> Do you want me to just hang out with you? Is that? I'm down. What night you got free? <laughs> what night you want to come over, bro? Uh, we'll talk about what it. What are you doing after hey, the show? I got like fucking, you know, the, what, what are those, the board call with the cheese on it? Uh, the charcuterie? Yeah, like, hey, Alex, come on in. Yeah, I got this. What kind of beer do you like? I'll make some popcorn. <laughs> He's got these little slippers like at a hotel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the robe with the initials on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man, I... Uh, I so I was telling you I matched with that chick from TJ and she was like come down and she said what you said like it's really nice down there and I was like no nah, I don't I don't trust you straight up I was like I don't I don't dude what if it's the cartel acting like a chick you know so anyways I was like come to like, we finally got Shoney he's coming <laughs> <laughs> he's always talking shit on the podcast um and I was like no come to San Diego she's like cool I have an apartment in San Diego too I was like oh word okay so she owns pro property down in TJ and property in San Diego um. She's the most racist person I've ever met. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> She's the most racist person I've ever met. Wait, well, yeah, she has property in two places. She's super wealthy. Yes. Yeah. Is she racist against black people? Is that the deal? Name a person. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We were talking about Pacific Beach and how like a lot of uh, <laughs> the Brazilians were moving into that uh, that. Apartment, yeah, apartment complex. complex I was like, yeah, dude, they're always out there playing volleyball. Like, I have a couple friends. She's like, yeah, they need to go back to their country. Holy and I was like, shit. bitch, what? <laughs> what are you talking? Go back to fuck? your country. <laughs> I didn't say that. You did. But yeah, and I was like, what the fuck? And That's then she wild. was so opinionated about everything. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Did she, like, did she talk about other pe other people, like other races? Yeah. Well, along with Brazilians, she had some things to say about the uh, the poor people in Mexico, like not nice things. I was like, dang, dude. And then I like just like all my other yeah, dudes. Thirty the, minutes in, the, I'm like, Ooh. the wealthy the wealthy in Mexico live like different than the wealthy. Give me your number, out here. bro. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> She's like hot this, too. She's I super like hot. Chick. I tried to make I it work. Trying to run fucking Mexico. Like, <laughs> oh, what? Go back to your country. <laughs> <laughs> She's right, like, Those are the words right that came out of The Brazilians need to go back to their country. Oh, she said, "I'm like, yo, I was I was hooking up with this uh, like aristocrat woman, a Mexican aristocrat uh, woman from an aristocratic family in Mexico, and uh, and she was like talking to me like she's like, yeah, we're trying to sell our house in San Diego, and then I'm gonna buy a different place, and she's saying like super casually, and then she like shows me the listing." Six million dollars. What Jesus the Christ? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Where was it? Uh, it was in like East Lake. That's like, a, that's a big property in East. There's Lake. some nice properties. Yeah, I know. Uh, but six yeah. million this, this, there is this, a lot. This is like big estate property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like it was it like, um, I think they should have like listed it for like six point five million or something like that. Like, uh, and it didn't sell. So like, it's probably got to be like she's probably got to lower it. But I texted my brother. I was like, hey, they took it off the market. Like, do you want to maybe like you know, take the listing. My brother doesn't really list homes. Yeah. It's not his, like what he does with his license. Um, and he's like, he's like, why do you know someone with like a six, six million <laughs> dollars? Yeah, you want, Alex, Alex, you want Tinder again in yeah. Mexico? He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, I've never dipped into that world. Like there's a lot of wealthy people in Mexico and I, I just, I was blown away for a second. I was just like, what the fuck? And they, they look like Spanish too, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah European. She actually yeah. said that. She's like, yeah, a lot of people think yeah. I'm like European. And I was like, Fuck, dude. So she's white Mexican, like white skinned. No. So like, we, no? no, she looks like she's she Latina. Looks, yeah, she this, looks uh, like Latina. The Spanish teacher my dad worked with her. She came from a family like that, and she kind of explained it to us because uh, her brother owns Mayan Palace Resorts, which is like the big resort chain in Mexico, and uh, their family started like uh, the only um, uh, cement like uh, construction company in like all of Mexico. So like, anytime you see a building going up where there's cement work, it's like they're family logos like on it Jeez. and the thing is like it's all so like connected the way it is there's like no competition it's like all like you know backdoor negotiated monopolies and shit like that so like once you're in once you're wealthy like you just keep getting richer that makes sense though yeah and you can yeah. like yeah you can like squash other people yeah. trying to get in yeah no yeah. competition it's yeah. yeah and it's it's like that uh, there's a little bit of that here but there's way more ways there's a lot of that around. in politics yeah and there's there's also like we're just huge too like yeah. physically huge yeah. it's hard to, you can't control something in miami really if you live here like it's just it's literally too far away 
Yeah, and like in there's also ways to like you can still be an upstart and like take over whatever big corporation, you know, is already right, there. Yeah. Like that happens fairly often. You know what I mean? Like nobody thought that, you know, fucking Toys R Us would go away. Yeah. <laughs> That's sad. Oh, that was a sad day, man. Fuck Toys R Us and Jack Black. But but Toys <laughs> And Joy. <laughs> and Joy. But Toys R Us was the villain back in the day cuz remember toy shop toy stores were these small little family-owned yeah. businesses. Oh, yeah. Toys R Us yeah. destroyed. Yeah, and then You guys remember KB Toys? Yep. Yeah, yeah sure Boys was a little bit smaller, and then the Toys R Us was the big one. Yeah, and then like you know you 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 know then you were never gonna take down Toys R Us. It was the big corporation, whatever, and then Amazon destroyed them. Fuck. So yeah, I mean there's you know there's there's always an upstart that's gonna take over at some point. Nothing lasts forever. Hey man, brother, and just like us. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I was waiting for you to figure out Let's how to go! work in that we're old to end the show on that note. <laughs>